Saturday morning is what it is. And I will come to you with no apologies about what looks like my several day long crybaby eyes. And um, if you follow my little world, you'll know what that's about. But Ellie and I are taking the opportunity to get out of the house this morning and we're going down to the Spartanburg, South Carolina Hub City Farmers Market. We've already been to two yard sales and Ellie, Ellie and Max had had a, um, a, a beauty shop appointment because they have to be trimmed sometimes. I, look, I've tried to trim her before. It's not happening. I, I bought a whole thing that I had to take it back and then they didn't want to take it back and I had to beg them. And it, anyway, so um, is there another yard sale over here? No, do y'all want to go to yard sale? Yard sale! <laughs> Carly's having a yard sale in Hendersonville, South Carolina. Ellie and I thought about riding up thought about riding up there. We got too much to do here in town. So anyway, also, um, oh, so Ellie had an appointment yesterday. Ellie and Max had had an appointment and the thing happened, you know, and Ellie didn't want to go to the beauty shop and she said there was no reason for her to look cute anymore and I said, well, Mr. Bill's expecting you and it might be good, you know, and they have a spa treatment, you know, and we might could do that this time. And anyway, so Mr. Bill, their beauty shop guy, he, uh, their groomer, he threw in the whole spa treatment for her and now she smells like baby powder and she had extra treatment. She had conditioning. Isn't that right? <laughs> Anyway, but now she's glad she went and she's feeling a little better, but not really because normally the dogs don't sleep in my bed, but the last two nights she has because she's feeling the loss and okay, I was and it was just helpful that she was there. So um, anyway, so today we're going over and we're going to get some microgreens and we're also going to get some greens and some more green things. And I was just gonna answer a couple of questions this morning. I was gonna say, hey, hey, what'd you say? Hello, friends. If y'all don't know, um, what I'm talking about is that my dog, Max, the Magic Max, you know, um, he passed away two days ago in my arms and he had kidney and liver failure. And um, he, I'm not gonna get upset, he is, uh, he was almost 14 years old, so my kids grew up with him, and that was the dog just had the most gentle spirit in the world. Like he, he was nothing but love and light, you know. And um, and he just peacefully went to sleep in my arms, and um, I had had him to the vet, and he, it was inoperable. He, he was just an old man, you know, and um, and he lived a good life, and and that's the thing, though, when you love hard. Sometimes it feels like hard loss, you know, but we can't label that as good or bad because that's what it takes. It takes the it takes the sun to understand the rain and it takes the good to, to feel the bad, right? You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I, I don't recall crying that much in my whole life. Um, even when Christopher went away to the service, this has just been, you know, a week ago, um, because Christopher is still there to be found, you know, but Maxie, it was just the end of, of his time, and now he has, um, and Ellie told me not, she said, smile, mommy, you know, don't you feel him, he's all around us, and I said I did, and it's just been hard, but, so today we're, um, you know, life moves on, is what, is what happens, and and I, I would never trade the moments of wonderful, you know, like Julia Roberts says, for a lifetime of nothing special. You got to give love with all your heart to, to hopefully receive love. And, and Maxie was one of those things in my life that I actually could receive love from. And he was with me, you know, through through the raptured one, you know, being raptured. And through, you know, my kids and I, we... we we got him, and, and I still remember the day he came skidding around the corner in this lady's house, and she couldn't keep him, and, um, and he'd had a little home haircut, and it was just always just, just nothing but joy, but, um, anyway, so, you know, and, and it's hard, it really is, 
it's it's not difficult it's different you know like we always say and I wanted to say a couple things about that about not numbing your emotions down um, not feeling F-I-L-L -L, like I always say filling yourself up with stuff with food with drinks with drugs with shopping with whatever but feeling F-E-E-L feeling the emotions in the moment and realize that that's what it's all about that's what it's about to be alive you know and that's what's beautiful right and um and feeling those moments and and Ellie you know she kept on saying she wanted a treat and she and I said a treat honey it's not gonna help like that's not gonna and we didn't have a treat and we didn't have you know what we had we had juice and we had fruit and greens well she didn't but you know we had simplicity and we had thoughts you know and we had um we had memories and we looked through our picture album and, and we saw you know the day we were at the lake and and we saw um the raptured one's hand holding Maxie around his chest when we went on this boat ride one time and, and I was thinking you know when you're when you're the one that's still standing when you're the one that's still been standing through all the hard times you didn't run away you didn't you were the one do you know that you're the one that reaps all the love from those hard times and those tricky times? And when I saw that hand that looked so familiar to me many years ago that it's become yet a memory, and I saw the, the band um, of gold on the finger, and I saw, and I just thought, wow, all the years that we've lived since then, me and Maxie, and, and I had even more gratitude for the life that I have stood for, integrity, and and being the one that's still standing, the one that people can count on, you know? What do you want to be? Be that, you know? Be in the moment and be in, in the feeling of every moment of your life because that's what's beautiful, you know? And I just thought to myself how I felt this morning, Ellie and I, we, we, um, we're going to go on this little butterfly trail and we're going to walk and we're going to get some microgreens and, um, and when we were at the little yard sale down the road, I just thought to myself how I felt just a gentle, a wash of, like a gentleness on my soul today, a, a gratitude for for my life and for it really is all how we see our life and and when that happened and, and someone told me they said well you know Ellie she won't make it a few days you know she's so dependent on Max that dog will be dead in another another few days and I thought do you think like what is the worst thing I could say in this situation and then you chose to say that or like but that doesn't matter that doesn't change my thought process on anything because um that that is how people people letting people be free to feel their feelings and and just not having to feel like you have to change anybody or just you get up every day and you live your life with integrity and love and with a gentle spirit what do you think and uh, and I'd really noticed that at that yard sale how I felt so peaceful and so complete in just um, having gratitude for my life and and having love in my heart and only love and housing no resentment and housing no Nothing but love. What do you think? Hi, everybody. Hey, Randa. And you know, there's a few people, and, and there's so many. I have never had um, so many likes on a picture. I had a little group of pictures, and it's still there down on my Instagram, and um, with Maxie and when he was little, the day we brought him home, and um, and when he he was with Christopher there, and Christopher was like in first grade, and when I got Maxie, Carly was uh, just got out of second grade, and Christopher was going in first grade, and now they're almost twenty and almost twenty-two. It's their whole life, you know. That was 
was the doggy that they grew up with and um and, but what I was gonna say is I had so many I've never had so many comments on a, a photo I have never seen so much pouring out of love in in one post and I I just feel so grateful for our community and for the friendships that that I have here with y'all and um and people understanding because it is a community of like-minded people where we're all on our different journey and 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 a person may have just thought about you know chicken is from a chicken chicken legs are actually the leg of a chicken guess what my whole life that never occurred to me that anyone was harmed for the living of my body or someone may have come to the terms that understand now that that the look in that cow's eye is no different than the look in Maxie's eye or, or in Ellie you know and they may just be coming to terms with that and that that's their part on their journey and somebody else may have been you know living this lifestyle for for 16 and a half years like me or they um they're spreading their light and their love and what I was gonna say was we have so many like-minded people in our community that said so many things of love to me and I have never felt so grateful for that because um <laughs> these dudes think I'm I don't know uh, talking to my phone which is funny um and he's coming over here at the Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm just doing a vlog of uh, love and light sitting uh, here in the car. Oh, how are please. you? I thought this was a new Fiat. This is the Mazda. It's a Mazda Miata. Miata. It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. The Fiat looks just like it. Um, they use the same. It's also made in Japan too. Okay. Yeah, yeah I love this little it's a great car. car. It's like free on gas too. You yeah, know. It's the best. I know. Have fun. Have a great day. Oh, he was kind of a cute single dude. That is the Papa style man. <laughs> Stop it, Tanya. Anyway, so we had a guest. That was funny, wasn't it? But anyway, um, I was just going to say so many people. And isn't it great? So many people can say, oh, social media is crap. Social media. No. When you look for good, you find good. And when you look for love and you spread love, you receive love. You really do. You know, and it's it's beautiful. It really is. And I thought about um, Jay, my friend. He's a plant-based athlete. If y'all know, do y'all know him? And I thought about how he lost his puppy, you know, just, it might have been about a year ago now. And, um, and how, uh, and, and I thought about Randa, and she's always taking her poodle all the places of the world. She travels, and, and I thought about Candy and her little dog, and I, I thought about just so many people, and, um, and that, that y'all had understood, and it really is, for so long I was alone in this lifestyle, do you know? Like until that day Christopher said, Mom, you know, you could do that. Uh, I said, do what? He said, you could do a YouTube channel. You got something to say. I said, I do. And I turned on that camera. And from the day I did that on my phone at the back door, and it was a 30 second video. And you can see that on my YouTube channel. Hey, I'm Tanny Raw. And I have never edited my stuff. I've never had to censor. I've never, I just show my life. And, and y'all are, um, let me be that and I was never alone after that I was never alone in the lifestyle of trying to to create health and um isn't that a big deal and and now sometimes if I go up to Asheville or, or near my daughter she's in Hendersonville or, or Greenville I'll see people and they'll say Tanny and people will will come up and they'll and they'll talk and and I think wow like and coming to, and coming to terms with um and hello he's driving a an Audi don't go <laughs> he is pulling in I I'm a single girl do y'all know that and I really am trying to open my 